We all know that landing is one of the more dangerous phases of a flight, and that base to final turn is a hot spot for accidents, especially when there are distractions. The standard circuit pattern has a 90 degree base to final turn. It's in publications, on the internet, even in some YouTube videos. Whilst too steep a turn on takeoff is also dangerous, the main problem is here in the base to final or graveyard turn, where airspeed and height are low and there's a precise target. There are several factors operating. First, stall speed increases exponentially with angle of bank. Let's say in level flight this particular aircraft stalls at 50 knots. At a 45 degree angle of bank it now stalls at 60 knots, and at a 60 degree angle the stall speed is 70 knots. Second, as the aircraft turns the inner wing is decelerating towards its stall speed. Third, the aircraft is losing lift as it turns. In level flight the lift generated by the wings is equal to the downforce due to the mass of the aeroplane, but in a bank turn that lift, perpendicular to the wings, is divided into smaller vertical and horizontal components, but the downforce is unchanged so the aircraft starts to descend and the pilot counters this with back pressure on the stick that increases the angle of attack and therefore the stall speed. The aerodynamics are worsened if the pilot overshoots and tightens the turn slowing the inside wing even more and applying more back pressure, maybe aggravating the situation by yawing into the turn with the rudder. Ultimately the wing on the inside of the turn may reach its critical angle of attack, stalls, drops and the aircraft is too low to recover. It's usually fatal. In contrast, in the bad weather circuit, the pilot flies above the runway to the opposite threshold, climbs with a rate 1 turn onto the reciprocal heading at 600 feet AGL, flies that heading 20 to 30 seconds beyond the landing threshold and then makes another rate 1 turn to line up with the runway again to land. Here there's a constant bank angle from downward to final, vastly reducing the risk of stalling the wing on the inside of the turn. It's tighter than a normal circuit but the same principle can apply to both. A military pilot showed me the method and if you look at my videos where I've shown the track from downwind to final you will see this pattern every time. So why is the graveyard turn still used when a gentle curve from downwind to final must be so much safer? Leave a comment. And if you like this video please click the like button and consider subscribing. It helps YouTube show you videos you may like and it helps the channel of course. And thank you for watching.